Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So in our previous video, we learned like how to launch different browser engine as well as different browser Chromium based uh, browsers. Okay. And also you got a assignment. I hope you have completed it. And it's very easy actually. Okay. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to handle different types of input input fields. Okay. So our text area also you can say. So in any web application of course there will be a lot of forms so we should be very familiar with this okay and at the end of the video you also have a assignment so watch it fully okay now coming back to the topic so here is our actual playwright locators documentation so here you can see like we have a lot of functions i will try my best to cover most of the uh, methods if time permits okay so this is the documentation and always keep an eye on this because playwright is like evolving and there are a lot of changes so i started the playwright last year in the typescript version and like after that there is a lot of changes and of course i have did the update in all my videos but still like it is good practice to always learn from the documentation okay uh, yeah so i will leave all the link in the description you can just go and check it out okay now coming back to the topic uh, let me give you a quick recap okay so this is how we launched our browser yesterday i mean in our previous video so first of all we'll use this playwright.create which will give us the playwright reference and from there we'll call this method called chromium or firefox or webkit to launch the respective browser and then we have this function called a launch which actually launch so this is like your uh, enlightening the browser and this is like launching it okay and if you want to launch like headless mode you have to use this launch options if you want to launch in your local browser you can use the set channel a new page in the sense like new tab okay so this few lines are enough for now but there are a lot of things to learn in this five lines itself that i will cover in another video so stay tuned okay now let's go and create a new package so i'm going to make it like day three today and i'm going to create a class and let's name it like loan inputs and of course we will go with our main method at least for few videos and i'm going to copy and paste so already you know this so let's not wait to let's not waste time in writing the same okay yeah cool so i'm going to use the same like uh, the chromium not the things okay so first of all we'll navigate to a site called letco.in so for the practice i will use this one like for the demonstration i will give you i will use this application and for assignment i will give you one more application you can use Control m to maximize this particular class or screen okay now first of all what we have to do uh, if you know selenium it's going to be very easy you already know so to do the interaction with each and every element we have to find the element in selenium it's a web not web i mean web yeah it's a web element in playwright it's a locator okay if you do not know selenium no no need to worry it's going to be very simple i will make it simple okay so let's go right click and inspect so here we have something like id equal to name so i can copy that or else i can use my latex path and there i have got the css i'm going to copy that one so in selenium we have a lot of functions like driver.find element then we have to say like by.id by.name by.class name and so on in playwright it's very simple just one function playwright.locator there are other ways also there to find element uh, which is very recent released like the last version latest version 1.28 like we have something like get by i'll talk about that maybe in upcoming videos okay so for now remember if you want to find any element whether it's a link text xpath css uh anything just one function dot locator okay so let's use that so page dot locator and i'm going to pass my actual css value and then i'm going to send my is data i'm going to use the function called type okay and here i'm going to type my name kaushik c and that's it pretty much good now let's go and run this so i'm going to use control f11 to trigger the test
yeah it's launched the browser and if you see the input here it typed my name okay that's a very simple thing okay now there is also another way to do this so we can use another function like um copy and paste and here i'm going to use the function called fill okay so let me go and run this one more time okay it will just replace the same let me close this one yeah so let's go and use this one okay so i'm going to find this the second input box where we have a id called a join i'm going to copy that and replace it here okay and here you can see the task is like append a text and press keyboard tab okay so if i use like type function here and if i run this now what it will do in the sense like it will do the append but uh, append in the sense like it will append from the starting point okay so for example here you can see like kaushik see then it gives like i am a good like the text is already there i am good the text is already there so what i expected is like uh this one okay so i expect it like this but it's doing the reverse we'll fig figure it out okay so what is the difference between type and fill okay so type in the sense like it will type one by one but fill in the sense like it will just like your copy and paste that is the one difference second difference is like uh instead of type if i make it uh, make it as fill it will clear the existing value and then it will do the type okay so for example if you see now okay so previously you saw like it append the text but now it just cleared the existing text and then it typed okay so that is the difference between type and fill okay now when we have to use which one in the sense like so it's based on your application so for example if you see here right the search box so whenever i do type based on that it's going to generate some test data so it's like it waits for the input once the input is changed then it will give us some suggestion in this case of course we have to go with the type function whereas this is just a form right this is just a form like i just have to enter some data that's it it's not going to do some api request or it's not going to do certain things like if you go to amazon.com or amazon.in there we have a search box as soon as we start typing it will give us like lot of list so in that case you have to use the type function fill in the sense like it's just a copy paste it will just whatever the data you're going to do it's going to uh, pass it so for example if i copy some random text and here if i give like in the type and i'm going to give the same data within the fill function as well okay now let's see what happens so in the type you can see like it will be very slow it will just type like one by one by one by one whereas fill is just like copy and paste boom like that so here you can see like and you, you saw the difference right type is like one by one fill is like boom okay so that's the difference i hope you are able to understand the difference between type and fill and when to use what function okay now coming back to our test scenario here we have to append a text then we have to do the keyboard press okay it's going to be very easy let me do that for you so first of all i'm going to store this as a locator why in the sense like uh, we are going to perform multiple actions within the same locator so it makes sense that we will store that and locator is by the way the interface okay so here i'm going to say like locator dot first of all we have to press why if i do if i do use the function called type it will write here itself right but what we want to do is i want to append at the end so first of all we'll say like press and then end end is like you're pressing the end key on your keyboard okay after that i will of course pass my test data locator dot type we should not use fill here because it will clear but i don't want to do that okay so here i will say like space and a man so i wanted something like i'm a good spaceman okay and then followed by i'm going to say like locator dot press and then i'm going to use the tab okay so tab so tab in the sense like what will after i enter the value if i click on the tab it will go to the next one right so let's go and run this now let's see
okay so here you can see like the uh, what is inside the text box that particular text box is highlighting that means once i type like i'm a good man and i have clicked on the tab button so it's giving my focus to the next one okay so very simple to understand i hope you got it okay now you might ask me is this the only way to handle an input definitely not okay so playwright is full of surprises so for example what i can do is i can say simply like page dot fill or page dot type and i can give my uh, locator and the value here also so this will also work fine nothing wrong in it so you can do any way that is absolutely um good you can use it anyway okay so mostly i prefer locator because locator has one more capability comparing to the uh, using direct functions like page.field i will talk about that in my uh, in another video okay 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 cool next move let's move to the next one so here we have a fun um, scenario like what is inside the text box uh, we have to retrieve the text within the input box so it's very simple it's very uh, similar to selenium like we have to use the function called get attribute so here you can select like value equal to autonic kc whatever the value is there we have to retrieve that so here i have a id called get me so i'm going to copy that and let me give you one more way to find the locator so here i'm going to say like page dot locator and i'm going to say like id equal to this uh, value okay so that's it very simple here you have to say like id equals the value okay and then i'm going to say like uh, get attribute and it's going to be like value which is going to return me the string and i can save it i mean i can sys out that so sys out after using vs code for like three years continuously now i feel sometimes like eclipse is very tough for me yeah so here you can see like if you go to the console you are getting like autonomic ac that means of course it's working fine okay after that we have one more scenario to clear the text okay so now to clear the text so basically in playwright we do not have this earlier but if i go to the uh, release note here you can see like we have a two functions newly introduced one is the blur and another one is the clear okay so without clear how we used to do previously in the sense like either if i have to clear and type i will go with the fill functions or else i can use the press like i will say like press control plus a and then backspace so we can use that way as well but it's good that now we have the direct functions like clear okay so i can go and inspect this one where we have a id as well but just to give you some example i'm going to use the x path okay so here i can see like we have uh, uh, this one okay so i'm going to take this text based x path and here i'm going to say like page dot locator the locator value and then i'm going to select dot clear which should clear the value okay so if i give control f11 or function f11 let's see the output okay so that's it very cool you can see like here no data is there yeah and that's it pretty much easy okay now uh the best part of player right is like if you want to find locator it can be like xpath css link text whatever it is we can just give directly we don't have to say anything else like, like selenium but if there is any error for example let's say that here we have the syntax error in xpath it will of course give us exception it will give us like playwright exception and then it will give us the message um, in selenium we have like lot of ex exception like uh, no such element no such frame and few other things right but whereas in um playwright it's mostly like a playwright exception so if you see the console here you can see like playwright exception and error message is like fail to evaluate if you're seeing this like fail to execute evaluate that means your locator it can be any locator okay so it can be like your css syntax or xpath syntax is wrong okay so take a look on that okay so it's very simple um i hope you are able to understand how to interact with the different types of input fields so we have like two more scenarios here one is like 
we have to do some verification like disabled and read only we will do that in our upcoming video or maybe the next video okay and uh, so for that we are going to use also the playwright web first assertion playwright assertion i will talk about that in the next video in more in detail okay now coming back to your task of course my friend you got a task too so it's going to be very easy just you have to go to this particular site link will be in the description and you have to complete the followings uh, so here you can select like we have like it's very simple two forms okay so two very simple forms so here first of all you have to enter some message and you have to click on this so you'll get the message you have to pin print on your console similarly here we have like a calculator just enter some um, data and you have to give like get values here you will get the total just print in the console okay so do the click of course we have a function called dot click and to retrieve the text go and explore okay of course i will teach in the next upcoming videos but i want you to explore as well okay so yeah that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Tata, bye bye take care Got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are timeless, so they'll put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity, for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn it.